cea mai rău famată zonă. Oh, 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 he's grabbing my arm. Ai grijă cum le bagi. Everything, are you okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ferentari, widely considered to be the most dangerous neighborhood in Romania, even once ranking the fourth worst destination in the world, according to the Daily Mail. This was the place I chose to spend my final day in Romania, exploring it with Ali Crăciun, a local photographer. A day that already got off to a strangely hostile start with our taxi driver. Did uh, I pronounce it correctly? Ferentari. Oh. Ferentari. I'm curious about going there because I think uh, I think there's always more than you know than just these labels that are just cast on communities like the ones found in Ferentari. Yeah, it's often marked as a dangerous place, but I'm hoping we get to see you know all sides to this place and get uh, as accurate and as realistic of a portrait as one can make in one day here in this neighborhood. What do you say? That I'm not that informed because I pronounce Ferentari instead of Ferentari. That's a weird thing to be upset about. Sorry for not preparing better, I mean... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's with nothing. the info, at least. You don't want to be sorry, that's a, I think that's a weird thing for him to be upset about. He was very upset from the beginning. Really? <laughs> when, when, when he first uh, heard me pronounce Ferentari, that's when he got upset. And afterwards, now he told me it's not okay what I'm doing because I should be informed and you're coming here and I should know about that it's Ferentari. Well, husband. I appreciate you being here, so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I apologize that he was uh, being oh, rude about that. <laughs> He told me it has a bad rap because there are so many gypsies there. And, uh, he said that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing he said, that, uh, well, it's just full of gypsies. Ferentari is home to a large Roma or Romani population, the Roma people being an ethnic group whose diaspora has scattered them across the world, including here in Romania. To this day, the Roma people continue to battle intense discrimination, systemic injustice, and heavy racism. In fact, many of you watching this video will be more familiar with the Roma people by the slur they're more commonly referred to. Gypsy. 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 Look, Captain. Gypsies. The gypsies live outside the normal order. Their heathen ways inflame the people's lowest instincts, and they must be stopped. This prejudice is a large part of the reason why I'm keen to explore Ferentari, as I'm curious to discover whether the stigmas associated with the Roma people are a large part of the reason why many have painted this neighborhood in such a bad light. I know what most people think about them usually because I hear it so often. And a lot of times, even if people don't have necessarily a stigma when they meet them or when they talk to them, when they talk about them generally from a distance, they just Kind of, it's us versus them. <laughs> and then we're going to meet. Well, I guess you've looped. Did you Ah, salute. 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 Hey. Vlogger, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, yes, yes. YouTube. Wait. 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 What do you say about that? Yeah. No, I don't say that. I don't say that. I don't say that. It's a zone of danger. He doesn't think it's dangerous. It's but a zone of danger. But it's not. But it's not. But it's not. Okay. What do you say about Ferentari? Oh, my God. When they hear about Ferentari, oh, my God, what a danger is Ferentari. It's not a danger in Ferentari. Ferentari is just a good place. I don't say Ferentari. I don't say Ferentari. I'm in this zone. Yeah, I don't say YouTube. Yeah, I'm in this zone. 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 Yeah,
Good. Good guys. Promos. See, this is a friendly man from Ferrandai. Multumesc, promos. Multumesc. Ce-o vă mulțumesc. Deci. Multumesc. Să rămână. Multumesc frumos. Oh, Îmi pare bine. Oh, de tot. Please tell me again. Please tell me I'm very sorry I can't speak Romanian. I feel bad. 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 Please, please. I don't care. 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 I do well, uh, but this gentleman here, he seemed kind of a balance. Good <laughs> balance, yeah. But I think that, yeah, you know, that happens a lot though. Like even in American neighborhoods, like some of the ones that get the bad rap, yeah. I think a lot of it is, you know, racially based, uh, unfortunately. Well, here I think it's most definitely more racial based than other. Ah, uh, hello. 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 How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. How are you? Are you okay with me filming you? Yes. Yes. He was, he was doing a pose like this. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, money, my brother. No, brother? unfortunately, no, no. Oh, yeah. oh, He's flexing. Oh, 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 oh. I was a talent. Yeah. Oh, oh. He, he's ripped. Who is the good boy? For you to contribute to the guy drip the water. He wants a soda. Oh, he wants a soda. Uh, uh, I mean, please. I can get my soda. Yeah, 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 yeah let's go get him. A, uh, let's go. Oh, where are we going? Isn't the supermarket here? Oh, we, oh, oh, he's grabbing my arm. Is the supermarket this way? Is it oh. oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one he wants to go to. You have a gid. Oh, do I have a gid? A gid? Uh, she's my gid. I want to pause here to share that my subtitle translator noted that he believes this man may have had more sinister plans for us, which is why the man was trying to get us to help convince the people around us that he was our guide, so they wouldn't ask questions. And this is also why we were lucky to be saved by... Oh, our friend is back. Do they accept card though? Because I don't have cash. Uh, I'm okay. No, 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 no. No, I, I, have, uh... no, I don't want you to pay. I have cash. Okay, I'll just add it, I'll add it on top of what I'm paying you. <laughs> Everything, are you okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything, are you okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why was he touching you? What happened? Nothing. What? No, he just, this, for, uh, for this side, he should also get something from me. Just put oh, it. he said that? Yeah, something like that. Oh, let's get away just from this Just put it. Me, people are like, no. What did you say? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. Do you want to take a break? Uh, what does he want to? Take a break, 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 take a break. If, if, if we want to, if we want to drink something. Oh, no, more fresh. No, more fresh. That's very nice. This guy was. This is the same thing. I'm to go to the I'm going to go to the house. i Okay. So I can zoom a little bit. So I can zoom a little bit. To be careful. Can you tell me to be careful with the camera? Yeah, I don't know why, but be careful with the camera. Yeah, that's a, that's an ominous thing to say. I guess you come with the bus. I'm going to go to Romania and travel. Simple. You got a lot of people to travel. What is this? Ah, because I'm going to go to the airport. 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 What's he saying? I'm married. I was. I'm married. He's married. So it didn't mean anything. He didn't mean anything when he tried groping you. That's not great. Oh, okay. Much mask. Okay. 
I'm sorry that man uh, touched you. No, but you don't. Why are you sorry? Please, you have no reason to be sorry. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to, you know, say something to him, but I couldn't. I don't know how to say it. While our time in Ferentari had been largely positive up until that experience, I still wanted a deeper understanding of this neighborhood and its community. And luckily, to help me, I was able to meet up with Michaela Dragan, a local Roma artist. An advocate for Ferentari and a multidisciplinary artist, Michaela helped found Juvlipin, the first ever Roma theater company here in Romania. We are actors and we are feminists and we are anti-racist and I think we are in 2022, you know, all the art is political. Michaela agreed to help show me more of Ferentari, as well as educate me about the history and present state of the Roma struggle. Roma people were slaves for more than five centuries here in the Romanian countries. They were sold as objects, sometimes they were separating families. After the slavery, we didn't have so much peace because the Holocaust was knocking. <laughs> Romania was one of the close collaborators tours of Hitler all over Europe is estimated that half of million of Roma people were killed during the Holocaust. This is a history that is not recognized, is not known, and many times we as artists, we feel responsible to educate people as the state, as the institutions, they don't assume to do this job. This is part of the Romanian history, this is part of European history, and we are the most discriminated community in Europe. When people talk about the Holocaust, they talk about the tragedy and horror of six million Jewish lives being lost to the Nazi war machine. But they never mention the thousands of gypsies that were killed by the Nazis. No one ever wants to talk about that because no one ever wants to talk about the positives. <laughs> it's the most acceptable racism against us. This is painful. To further help my understanding of their struggle, I was invited to come along on a show being put on by young Roma performers called Safari Fetish, a mock safari that satirized how many white, non-Roma people had recently come to Ferentari for a festival and exoticized the locals as if they were wild animals on a safari. <laughs> The first scene was about a Roma woman trying to find a job and it's about the discrimination that the Roma people are confronting every time when they are trying to get a job, even if they have studies. Here in Romania, there is an institutional racism. There is a lot of racism that we confront in our relationship with authorities, in the schools, with the police, in televisions, there is a lot of racism, like the media discourse about us is so awful. They even use the word gypsy, and uh, you know, this is a slur. This is a slur. Actually, in Romania, they use the word tzigan, and the meaning of tzigan is untouchable. I think especially here in Romania, the term tzigan has the meaning of slave. In our language, in our Romani language, we call ourselves Roma, Rom, Romni, if you are a woman. Rome is coming from Sanskrit and means human. <laughs> Safari Fetish was actually an active performance piece where we then boarded a bus which took us to different scenes around Ferentari. The show that we saw today, its goal is to deconstruct all the stereotypes and cliches about this neighborhood and to explain the situations, the issues that Roma people are confronting here. They are really abandoned. There are some streets here in Ferentar, they don't even have water or electricity. In Bucharest city, <laughs> this is existing. 
Do you know where exactly we are? Well, we said previously that we're gonna go to the park. What do you think of the show so far? Nice. It's interesting, huh? Yeah, it's, it's informative. I, I know. Oh, really? Wow, great. That's great. It's also nice that they mentioned some places where you can get donuts and things like that. Oh, we're gonna, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get donuts today? No, no, no. But oh. they, they mentioned. Coming, for the tours and she won. Coming, Katini, Kanoi. Au și ei drepturi. Drepturile omului nu sunt selective sau opționale. Sunt universale. Adică pentru toată lumea. So what was part of that show? What were they talking about there? So a she said that it would be better to understand Roma people what they're going through and people that deal with addictions. She was talking about addiction specifically. And she mentioned what people say most most often about Roma people that why don't they work? Why don't they have an education why they, because they don't have the opportunities because they're, they're not born with those privileges. The show is continuing right now and we are right now headed to uh, a park in one of the poor areas I believe. Of, uh, <laughs> The other scene with the music was about the Roma music and about the celebration feeling that we have every time and we gather and we listen our music, Manele. <laughs> Manele is a Roma pop music. This is the best music of Romania. Even though I don't understand exactly what's being said on the song, I can recognize a bop when I hear one and this is a... It's a good vibe. I could definitely see myself smacking it up to this music, you know, awkwardly avoiding people in the corner of a club. Are you familiar with this song? Yeah, it's a really, really well-known. So you've, you've danced many a time with this yeah, song. Yeah, ah, Ali, yeah. Ah, you're dancing to this song. <laughs> <laughs> People still don't admit that they are listening Manele because it's very much associated with Roma culture and with uneducated people and with the poor people. I think, you know, it was the same history with the jazz music, for example, you know, in men, because jazz belonged to black people. Music is, is like our church. Every time, you know, every time when we hear Roma music, Manele music, we know, we remember, you know, that our existence is an act of resistance in this country. At the end of the safari, Michaela invited us to join her in a typical Roma summer celebration at a popular neighborhood restaurant. So what is this place that we're at right here? So this is like a local restaurant where people can eat meat. Like what is meat? Meat, you'll find out, is the best food that we have in uh, the summer. If you'll try meat, drink a beer, it's a treat. Yes. Oh, I'm excited yes. for this like, meat. Meat is something super, super local. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's taste it, baby. Very stoked to eat. This is meat. <laughs> mm. I can eat 10. I swear. They are too good. It smells uh, fantastic. I'm excited. And this smells uh, like a real treat. Oh, it smells very juicy looking, too. I love a good juicy sausage. This is a whole experience. You can come in Romania without trying meat. This is something super local. It's like an invention. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is good uh, eating music. Yeah, yeah. This is a great way to spend the summer. Exactly. exactly. It really is. This is how perfect summer looks like. I love it. I can't lie. I told you. I told you. We are embracing meat. It's delicious. People have a lot of wrong ideas about Ferentar. When you arrive to Bucharest, for sure, you'll find out don't go to don't go to Ferentar. People will steal you there. People are doing drugs there. People are doing drugs here, of course, because I think it's very connected with the poverty. Where is poverty? People will <laughs> consume drugs, unfortunately. It's not a horror place. They should be scared of. You know, we are people. We are humans. It is known that Roma people are so loving and so embraced. And this ghetto narrative, it's just so bad for the Roma people in general. Like, this affects our lives, this affects how we are seen in society and even abroad. I think people are afraid to come here, but here is a community, and this is the only place in Bucharest where I have this feeling <laughs> that I'm belonging. This reminds me very much of my Roma village where I grew up because. 
People here, they know each other, they interact, they get out of their houses, they have meetings in the parks or even in the front of the blocks. Everybody knows everybody. It's a community, it's an extended family. I'm living in the center of Bucharest and I don't know my neighbors, like nobody talks to me, I don't see my neighbors, but here is different. We are talking like, especially the last, I feel like the last years we talk a lot about, you know, Black Lives Matter and how Black Lives Matter became a global movement. And I feel that people even here in Romania, they embrace it because they have to be on trend. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have Roma people here and you are racist against them. How yeah. come? How come do you post, you know, all these Black Lives Matter on Facebook and Instagram, but you keep continuing saying the same bullshit and racist things about us, about Roma people? The most faithful thing, I think, we normalized these things, you know, because you know that you are a Roma person and the racism that you confront becomes so normalized that you don't even, you know, it anymore. This is the situation in Romania and but we are here and we'll be continuing talking about this. We are here to resist, we are here to change mentalities, we are here also to celebrate ourselves. I would describe Roma people as resilient, as diverse. There is so much diversity in our culture and among Roma communities. I will also describe Roma people as survivors. Beautiful? <laughs> I think I like to be Roma. <laughs> We're done with our day here in Ferentari. Uh, yeah, it was very, uh, it was an eye-opening experience. Not, not what you know was sold to me online, which is, uh, which I guess is great. Literally everywhere I was reading online about this neighborhood was just telling me about how it was either the most dangerous in Romania, or if it wasn't the most dangerous, it was still very dangerous. You shouldn't come here. You're gonna get, you know. Uh, we spent an entire day. We spent an entire day here. My camera wasn't stolen. Yes, I'm not here at night, obviously. In most neighborhoods, you know, walking alone at night isn't the best idea with a camera. But you know, during the day. Uh, it was just, a, everyone was just so friendly. The food was fantastic, good company, the neighborhood, you know, like honestly, it's not unlike other like neighborhoods in the US or other countries that are just, you know, they just have been given less attention by, you know, the people with the money, you know, and yeah. you know, clearly this is a neighborhood that needs help uh, and just isn't receiving it. And Those are the real problems, actually, that's, people that live here. Exactly. She said it better than I did. No, that's absolutely right. I want to tell to the oppressors that we are here we are not uh, living, even if many times I heard dangerous discourses about us going back to India. No, we are here to stay. We are here to resist. We are here to curse you. If you don't change your mind, be afraid. <laughs>